mediastinal contour abnormalities, case readouts. The first image is a scatogram from a CT chest, which uh, looks like a single view chest radiograph. You can see that there is a retrocardiac dense consolidation, which is very sharply demarcated. This most commonly represents a high hernia. However, this patient underwent an esophagram, which showed the esophagus grossly dilated and a fluid fluid level within the distal esophagus, beaking of the distal esophagus and the stomach in normal position under the diaphragm. So this case represents a very severe case of achalasia, narrowing of the gastroesophageal junction and a delayed emptying of the esophagus for which uh, in return eventually the esophagus dilates over time. CT image through the lower chest in the same patient shows the dilated esophagus and the retained food within the distal esophagus. Single view of the chest demonstrates mild widening of the upper mediastinum. There is atherosclerotic disease of the thoracic aorta, normal heart size, the lungs are clear, there is no pleural effusion, no pneumothorax, unremarkable acid structures. So this patient has an enlarged ectatic ascending thoracic aorta. Follow up CT scan of the chest, coronal views demonstrate an ectatic ascending thoracic aorta where the aortic diameter measures greater than 4 cm. Once the diameter reaches 5 cm, we are talking about aortic aneurysm. So 4 cm is ectatic, 5 cm and above would be aneurysma. Single view of the chest demonstrates cardiomegaly and atherosclerotic disease of the thoracic aorta. There is a retrocardiac opacity with an air fluid level, most suggestive of a large hiatal hernia. Blunt to the right crossfaring angle suggests small right pleural effusion. The lungs are clear, there is no pneumothorax, no acutaceous findings, fusion of the lower thoracic spine. Axial and coronal CT images in the same patient demonstrates the large retrocardiac opacity consistent with a near completely interthoracic stomach, so a large hiatal hernia.